Welcome back to the Hillbilly RV channel. Um, hey, first thing, uh, if you feel like it, go check out my other channel, Hillbilly RV Behind the Curtains. It's just pretty self-explanatory. That's what goes on behind the scenes at Hillbilly RV. A couple videos ago, I tried to show y'all how I would test a GFCI outlet on a bench. We got it all set up, wasn't anything wrong with the outlet. That outlet came out of this camper. I told y'all on that video that I hope the guy didn't call back and say, hey, guess what? Well, guess what? He called back and he said, hey, guess what? <laughs> so uh, the outlet that I replaced in the bathroom will would not stay reset. The one he replaced outside here at the, at the rear kitchen, it would not stay reset. So um, that was uh, yesterday. So I'm here today and uh, well, we're gonna see if we can figure out what's going on. Funny thing is when I get here, he tells me that uh, on the pedestal in the campground, there's a GFCI outlet there and it is also tripping now. So we've got three separate GFCI outlets, three separate circuits, two, two separate circuits in the camper, one outside the camper, all doing the same thing. Now, I thought before I got here, before I found out the one on the pedestal is also tripping and won't stay reset, that I was just gonna go to the uh, panel box inside the camper and check all the wires in there and make sure we didn't have a loose wire. It's not, not uncommon at all to find several loose wires in a panel box. It's not where we go first. Typically, we got a GFCI that won't reset. We take uh, the black wire off the back, check to see if we actually have a ground fault. If we don't, then we got a bad outlet. Just like the other day, that's what I did. We replaced the outlet, it reset and worked just fine. So we figured we had it, right? But no, but we've got something else going on here. I still think I'm gonna go into the panel box inside the camper and just check all those wires. Yeah. And then we're gonna go out to the pedestal probably and see if we can see what's going on. We're also gonna check out the shore cord uh, this probably, I haven't looked, but this probably has a detachable shore cord and there's problem areas there. So let me grab a few tools. We'll go inside. We'll see what's going on. Somebody before me rounded that screw out really, really well. Didn't begin to move. Always love when they do. All right, so now, like I said, I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna check every one of our AC wires. Of course, the first thing you'd wanna do is knock that main breaker and maybe even the safest thing to do would be to go ahead and unhook the shore cord from your pedestal of course you know i didn't do that but i'm telling you that's what you should do because it would be the smart thing to do Nobody ever said I was smart. Hey puppy. Okay, I know, I love you too. Hmm. That's odd. Now, there's something you don't see every day. Just a piece of random wire laying down in there. Wasn't causing an issue, but still it's funny. Yeah. 
All right, checked all the neutrals, all the grounds. There was one neutral wire that was just a little bit loose, but uh, not bad at all. Now I'm gonna check the hots. I got one breaker that's turned off. I just noticed. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the water heater. Okay. That seems odd, but okay. So I'm gonna go underneath these breakers and check all those wires too. So I need to get down here where I can see what I'm doing. Which means y'all gotta get out of the way. No smoking guns there. Didn't find anything really loose. One neutral wire, one hot wire, just a little bit loose. So that's pretty good actually. Because usually we find a lot more than that. All right, well, so like I said, everything looked good in the, in the panel box. So let's go out here to the pedestal. Because I'm really suspicious of the pedestal, especially since the customer says there's an outlet on the pedestal that does not want to reset. So that's three separate circuits, two in the camper, one that's not even in the camper that's having a problem. So uh, let's see, see what we can figure out here. So here's that GFCI that's in the, uh, in the pedestal. Like I said, the customer said it didn't want to reset either. Of course, while I'm here, it reset just fine, of course. I want to go in the top of this box first, see what's, uh, see what is in there, what things look like. I know the guy that runs this campground, so I'm fairly confident that he won't mind me going in his pedestal, as long as I don't go in here and fool around too much. I just want to see if we can figure out what's going on. So there's got to be something that's common on all three circuits. So, uh, this end of the shore cord looks fine. Um, I guess we probably ought to check the other end of the, well we are, we're going to check the other end of the shore cord too. So I'm assuming this is a detachable or it may be on a, it may be on a reel. We're going to check it out also. I just want to go in here real quick, see what things look like in here. I don't see anything real obvious. Nothing looks burnt, nothing looks like it's been hot. Uh, the neutrals are down in the bottom though, I guess. So, I'd kinda like to see, I'd kinda like to see the neutrals and the grounds, see what they look like. So, I might have to go, might have to go into the bottom of this box too. Well, once again, I see nothing super obvious. <sighs> yeah, I see nothing super obvious. I think it's time to call the campground owner, see if we can kill the power to this whole pedestal. And I just go in there and see if everything's tight in that pedestal. But I'm not gonna do that live. Uh, Cause I have to do that with metal tools. You have to do that with ratchets and, and uh, Allen wrenches and stuff. So. Uh, we'll have to kill the power on this pedestal to do that, so I'll be back. Before we call the campground owner, I just look up here and I see that uh, this is a detachable shore cord. Let's look at this end of the shore cord. And everything looks awesome in there too. Both ends. 
seeing how this this uh, part of the shore cord that attaches to the camper has a rubber gasket on it. Go ahead and pull it off. And look look at the uh, look at the connections behind it as well. Pretty big chance of rain here today, so if uh, this didn't have a rubber gasket, I'd be a little less reluctant to pull this off. It might be hard to to get it sealed back again if it starts raining on us. Get this plug apart. Well, everything looked great in there too. So, I don't know. We're gonna have to go into this pedestal, see if we can figure out what's going on. Well, that was uneventful. Uh, the campground owner came over, we killed the power of that pestle. I went in a pestle, checked all the connections. A couple of them were really loose. I thought, ah, we found it. But we still have one GFI that will not reset. And I tested it again. There is no ground fault. Why won't that thing reset? I don't know. Um, but we seem to have an intermittent issue of some kind. Because uh, sometimes the outlets will reset, sometimes they won't. I don't know what's going on. Uh, the customer, you know, at this point, I've checked all the connections that I can check. Uh, I've checked all the connections. I can't check. I can't check the cables, the wires in the middle. But I've checked all the connections I can check. Everything's cool. Found a few loose things. A couple of them things in the pedestal were really loose. There was one hot wire that was really loose. There was one neutral that was really loose. Um, those would have been causing problems in the near future, I would say. So we got those took care of, but I still, I cannot figure out why that, we got one GFI that won't reset right now. I uh, can't figure it out. So the customer is going to take and try and notice if there's any common, you know, any common thing that happens when, when he's having trouble with these outlets. See if we can figure it out that way. I don't know what else to do. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to go up the road and probably not fix another one like this one. And um, y'all have a fantastic day.